Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to perform polynomial fitting using Origin Pro 9. So for this tutorial, I'm using Origin Pro 9. However, even if you have any older version of Origin or any uh, similar version of Origin, then uh, the procedure would be somewhat similar. So I think that you can still follow this tutorial. So just go ahead and launch your Origin and then go to the worksheet. And uh, let's say you have some data on which you have to perform the polynomial fit. So I have that data here already uh, written in the Excel file. So I'll just go ahead and copy that. However, you can either enter data manually or just copy paste it like me from whatever source you have your data from. So just go ahead and right click there and click on paste and then select these two columns and then right click on these to click on plot and then go to symbol and then select scatter. So you would have a nice little scatter plot here. So now if you want to perform a polynomial fitting on all these data points then you can go ahead and click on analysis and then go to fitting and then select um, polynomial fit from right here and then go to open dialog. So here this window would pop up that would ask you for a lot of settings and that you would like to uh, set to perform the polynomial fitting. However, we'll just uh, stick with some basics for this tutorial. So the first thing is the range that is the range of data on which the polynomial fitting would be performed. And the second important point would be the order of the polynomial or the degree of the polynomial that is being used for the polynomial fit. So currently we can see from our data set that the uh, data is pretty much quadratic in nature so it is similar to a quadratic uh, or the x squared plot so we will select the polynomial order to be two however you can select any order that you want as long as the order is le one less than the number total number of data points so the total number of data points should always be at least one greater than the order of the polynomial so for this tutorial let's just say we are selecting two and for now let's just keep the range to the full data set. So we are currently performing the polynomial fitting on the full data set. However, I will also show you how to select a range of data in case you don't want to perform the fitting on the full data set and then just go ahead and click on OK. So it will ask you if you like to see the report sheet and you can either click on yes or no, whatever you like. So I'll just go ahead and click on yes. And this would show you a lot of cool stuff like first thing would be the coefficients. So it shows the coefficients of x squared, x and the x to the power 0 terms that is the constant. So the constant would be 0.33817. The coefficient of x term would be minus 0.33536 and the coefficient of x squared term is 1.03564. Now you can compare this result with the Excel one. So here you can notice that from Excel we got the answer to be 1.0356 which is pretty much similar to this, then 0.3354, which is again similar to this, just rounded off. And then, so we, basically we are getting the same results from Excel as well as from Origin. So this method is pretty basic and basically um, almost all these softwares have this. So then there are a lot of other information as well. Number of data points, degrees of freedom is seven as there are three constraints. And then you have the adjusted R square value, residual sum of R square um, squares and all that stuff and then you have a uh, quite neat plot of the data points as well as the fitted curve and then you can even go back to the graph that you just plotted and here also you would have the fitted curve as well as the small table showing all the data that is and this equation is what we have fitted our data set to so the equation was b2x squared plus b1x plus the intercept so that is the equation of a two degree or the two second order polynomial so now let's just say uh, I don't want to perform the polynomial fitting on the whole set of data, but I only want to perform it on a specific set of data points in between. So what you can do is you can go ahead and click on the data selector here, this blue icon, and then click on your screen and then drag it to form a rectangle region and then make sure that all the data points that you want to be uh, performing the fit on are lying within this rectangular box and then just uh, leave your or uh, release the mouse button so now these three data points are selected and um, then just go ahead and click on analysis fitting and then polynomial fit and open dialog and this time you will notice that the range selected is the sixth seventh and the eighth data point and then there's also an option that if you want to plot if you want to plot the fitted curve or not so 
I would like to see the fitted curves, so I'll just uh, keep this option checked. However, you can change that according to your needs. You can even change other options such as the intercept or you can have the errors as weights or a lot of other things that you can um, tune according to your needs. So just go ahead and click on OK and it would show you a plot of or the fitted equation for the three data set points. So here it is. Okay, and in case you are not able to see the fitted curve here, you can just zoom in and you can notice there is another set of line denoting the second fitted curve and you can even just go ahead and change its color so that it is more clear so that you can distinguish between it pretty easily and then click on OK and now you can see the newer fitted curve and it has the equation um, 2.28x squared minus 18.26x plus 64.26 and let's just compare our results with Excel again so I selected the 6th, 7th and the 8th data point right so just change the range here like this and then observe it here um, let me just switch to the full view click here go to trend line more options trend line options point on mill display equation on the chart so just remove the older equation you have the newer equation here so 2.28 18.26 and 64.26 2.28 18.26 as well as 64.2 so the results are again pretty similar so that's it that's how you perform a linear um sorry a polynomial fitting on a set of data using origin and you can even choose a higher degree polynomial in this tutorial i only performed a two degree fitting however you can do whatever you want well, that's it thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial in case you did then don't forget to hit the like button and smash the subscribe button for more videos like this and thanks for watching have a great day